Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. I want to give you a nice little walkthrough of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Again, this is the Sprint branded version. Just going to give you a quick hardware look and then a software walkthrough just so you know what to expect. So this is a 7 inch screen. You can compare it here to a normal size pencil. Um, I also have the Flip Minnow if you want to check that out. We can compare it this way as well. As you can see, this really is a very, a very thin device. And also, one thing I like is sometimes manufacturers want to, you know, put so much functionality in physical keys that it gets really dirty and really messy. On the front, you have your front-facing camera, your light sensor as well. You have capacitive buttons along the bottom for your menu, your home, back, and search. On the right side, you have your micro SD port for expansion, volume up and down, and power. On the top, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the left side, you have a little part for your mic here, which is actually kind of easy to block when you're holding it to record video. Your stereo speakers on the bottom, as well as a Samsung proprietary charging port. And on the back, you have a nice white finish. It's glossy, and it does slip a little bit, but I haven't really noticed any scratches. You also have your 3 megapixel camera with LED flash. So. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up here. This is uh, just basically a standard Android. Uh, this is Android, but it also has um, TouchWiz 3, I believe, on top of it. So if you're wondering what you're seeing here. So on the front, you can slide to open and also slide to put it on silent. Right now, sound is off, so let's go ahead and open that up. So here's the front page here. You have a few pages, and you can add more as well. Obviously, we know that you can you know, take the weather or take anything and delete it. And also, if you want to add apps, you can go ahead and do that. I've showed you this on different Android walkthroughs, so I'm not really going to go into that. But on the front, just by default, Market, Messaging, Sprint Zone, Contacts, Free Games, Gallery, Kindle, Media Hub. And then I guess you could say sort of like your dock. You have browser applications and Gmail, and you can also go ahead and change those if you would like. So let's just look at some more apps that are come that come built in here. Alarm Clock, All Share, Browser, Calendar, Camera Contacts, Daily Briefing which just gives you a little bit of news. You can add a city for AccuWeather. You can look at Yahoo Finance and add a stock, AP Mobile, and your schedule. So basically the idea is um, that it's just like your one-stop shop, almost like your, your daily, daily briefing, obviously. Your email, Facebook, I added Games Gallery, Gmail. And there's something, uh, email and Gmail are actually different. Email is there is like the touch whiz thing. And it actually has a pretty a nicer interface. And then Gmail is where you set up your Gmail accounts when you enter in that information. So it's kind of weird that they're in different places, but that's just an FYI. Google Search, Kindle, uh, Latitude, Maps, Market, Media Hub, Memos. Media Hub is actually pretty interesting. I'll show you that. It's a Samsung thing. You make a Samsung account, and it's sort of like um, a way you can download media right to the device so you can purchase them. Right now we're over 3G, so I can actually probably go ahead and connect this to Wi-Fi and speed this process up. So now we're connected to Wi-Fi. Let's refresh this. And let's just back out and open it back up. So I don't know why this stuff isn't really loading, but there we go. So now you can buy Robin Hood right on here for $17.99, kind of expensive. Also, you could rent it for $3.99. There we go. Now it seems to, to be loading. And you can look at TV store. So if you just want to look at TV shows, you could get an episode of The Office buy it for two bucks. Pretty nice to actually have on here and you can download wirelessly. Messaging, music for all your music files, my files. This is actually kind of something I like. Something that Android has but that you know iOS doesn't have. You can look at your files here and you can transfer files and obviously it's pretty easy. A navigation software, news and weather, uh, places quick for your video uh, chat that you can use with the front facing camera. Task manager, so you can look at everything you have open and you can end processes. I'll be frank with you though, I haven't had to do that. I've been able just to let Android handle itself and haven't really had any problems with that. Sprint Hotspot for tethering. That's an additional charge just as an FYI. Sprint Zone, Google Talk, Think Free Office so you can create and edit and view you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents and it actually works pretty well. Video. Let's see what we got on here. It's just really pretty easy. You can just go ahead and, and click. And this is a video test if you haven't seen it yet on youtube.com slash the revived one.
the Galaxy 10. Well, let's just go back. And then we have YouTube, New York Times, World Clock, Pandora, Weather Channel. So let's uh, just play Pandora here because I want to just demonstrate something. So Pandora, let's lower the volume a little bit. So as Pandora is running, you have a little icon up here that recognizes Pandora. And this is something that they have in Android, but it really works well in tablets. Being able to slide down and have controls for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silence it, and also an orientation lock is pretty nice. And you can also turn brightness and adjust it, or if you just want auto, you can do that. It has your notifications here. So this works. All apps actually can take advantage of this if the developers choose. So Twitter apps will take will take advantage of this so you can see your new mentions, DMs. Email will take advantage of this. Sprint news will take advantage of this. Facebook messages will take advantage of this. And then ongoing apps that are running in the background will also take advantage of this. So you'll always have wherever you are. You know, let's say you're, you know, looking here. Oh, well, let's just stop playing Pandora. You can easily jump right in and stop it and then go right back to what you were doing pretty easy. So I added a lot of these apps. I just want to show you one thing, not score center. I want to show you something that's a little bit disappointing. USA Today, and several apps do this actually, they don't take advantage of the entire screen. This one was downloaded from the marketplace. You can see there's black bars all around it. This is just one example. There are a lot of apps or several apps that do this, and it's kind of a you know a disappointment to see because you want apps that take full advantage of the, the seven inch screen. So this is just not a very good experience. I mean, it, it works. You can still use it, but it's just kind of disappointing. Now let me also, uh, let me just hit up the browser real quick. Go ahead and, and show you how that works because you're going to be browsing the internet and that's a big part of uh, the tablet experience. So let's say we wanted to go to a web page. This, when I first saw this, I was a little disappointed. I was thinking to myself, this is basically just the smartphone keyboard and they just blew it up. I mean, on the iPad, it's still very similar to the iPhone's keyboard, but it's obviously different and optimized for the bigger screen. So if you're just typing, it's, you know, okay. But what's actually really nice, and when you start using it, you realize that swipe does a really good job. So I'm at a weird angle here. But we can easily get my name in there. And then we can go to michaelsherlock.com. And now this browser is, this is Froyo, so this is Flash. This is the Flash video here. And we can go ahead and click on that to start loading. And now, for some reason, this video tries to play in 720p. So it actually lags a little bit, but apparent this one's not optimized for mobile because you're playing it in 720p. Video is watchable from YouTube and Vimeo and Vidler and all those other places, but when you try to watch HD content, it kind of messes it up. And just generally speaking, having Flash content displayed will slow you down. It will slow the whole browsing experience down. So take it with a grain of salt. If you want to have Flash, you can. Otherwise, you can disable it and get a little bit of a better browsing experience. But let's just quickly try to just, again, show you going to a different website. Let's say you wanted to go to ESP. No, I don't want to go to ESPN because I know that goes to the mobile page. Try New York Times. Hold on, let me just delete all that. All right. There we go. So it's pretty easy to, to jump back and forth. And then up here you can go back and forth. You can open new tabs. And I, and sometimes they actually, are, it's kind of frustrating how they do tab management, but it's really pretty easy to do new tabs. You can just do another one and then type it in. Also something that I thought was cool, you can just swipe like that, sort of a pinch out, and it'll show you all your pages, then you can easily maybe delete a page if you want to, or add another page, and I just really like this, the fact that if you have a lot of pages with a lot of apps and, and a lot of widgets, you can easily, let's say you had a widget for, for your daily briefing, let's say, you know, you could go ahead and open this up, go over here, and then maybe all your feeds and updates are over here, as well as a Twitter and Facebook widget, so that's just a really cool thing, and something that I really did enjoy. So that's just a quick walkthrough of the Galaxy Tab. Obviously, um, this is a 7-inch tablet running Android, and I really think it is an excellent Android tablet. If you're looking for the review, you can check that out in the coming days on michaelsherlock.com. There will also be an accompanying video review on youtube.com slash the revived one with complimentary videos to show you some different aspects of the device. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching.
What are your thoughts on the Galaxy Tab? And have a nice day.